Hey, it's another Mayhem Minute here for Wednesday, February 11th, 2015. And the news today is Twitter. We talked last night on the uh, Wrestling Mayhem Show. 456, you can check it out, WrestlingMayhemShow.com, or on this YouTube channel, or the iTunes feed, wherever you're finding us. Uh, we talked about Seth Rollins' Twitter troubles. Uh, we know some pictures got out, and some ladies and some of the dudes are happy, too, about what happened. Uh, we'll see what happens there. But it's not the only uh, social media turmoil happening for WWE this week. Of course, Darren Young, according to this article we found with uh, NoDQ.com, uh, feels like nobody has his back, and it upsets him, struggles real, he's huge. His freedom of speech is gone, gone but not forgotten. Um, and really, it's uh, you, those don't know Darren Young is uh, has come out of the closet as a homosexual, and uh, and uh, they recently had a tour of WWE in uh, Abu Dhabi where homosexual homosexuality is a crime. It's too early to say these big words, um, and. Uh, and he and he reached out. Now there was an official response that came out uh, from WWE that they do not discriminate against individuals, regardless of the, da, 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 the usual line. Uh, they s- continue to proudly support uh, Darren Young uh, for being open about his sexuality. Unfortunately, WWE cannot change cultures and laws around the world, and thus we did not send him to the United Arab Emirates for our upcoming events for his own protection. Now this is, I think, this is the right way for them to handle it. Yes, it sucks. I know. I know. You'll say. Well, they shouldn't be going there. The the company shouldn't be supporting this. And I know we have this policy that uh, uh, companies are people too, but companies are getting out there and trying to get their product in front of people. And in a lot of ways, in a lot of ways, think about it this way: the WWE gets themselves in front of people um, in this way in the United Arab Emirates, in China. They're trying to do a lot more with. Um, and we know from Japan and other places, the Americanization of these places and our ideals get infecting into these places, you know, for the people that maybe do watch. And I don't know what the internet access is like. I don't know, think they're limited in, in Abu Dhabi. Like, uh, I'm sorry, the normal uh, joke keeps popping in my head. Uh, I don't think they're limited in Abu Dhabi like China. So they can follow through and watch WWE and learn about WWE and maybe learn that there's a homosexual and maybe, you know, at least change some minds there. I don't expect that to be uh, a changing of the rules wholesale from this kind of thing, but I don't think it should limit. I don't think uh, the boycott uh, should be there. It sucks. Don't get me wrong. That there are countries that have rules like this sucks so bad. But I don't think it's in WWE's uh, 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 take to uh, completely discount that in a whole market. They do have stockholders. They are a public company. Um, As the old uh, excuse goes, we've been hearing around WWE for a while. It does suck both ways. It sucks for Darren. It sucks for the people in Abu Dhabi that have you know, the same alignment that Darren does. Um, But in the long run, you know, I think they did it right. Darren has the right to say something about it. WWE supported that right for him to say that, which is really cool. Honestly, we talked about WWE gives them the right to use these, you know, gives them these tools and should not be surprised when they do speak out about something like this. That's a lot of saving face, I think, for WWE for that. And they do have that open of uh, social media policies. So let me know, what do you think? Is WWE right or wrong in their uh, reaction and going to Abu Dhabi in the first place? I'm sure you have an opinion on that um, because uh, because because reasons. Um <laughs> Go check out uh, uh, WrestlingMayhemShow.com for this and other great shows we're going on. Uh, Colin Delaney, the former ECW WWE star, and uh, recently took on Tommy Dreamer in the IWC here in Pittsburgh. Um, Talked to us last night. Why is Tommy Dreamer Dreamer just like Bret Hart? We worked that out. Indie Mayhem Show 56 going on WrestlingMayhemShow.com. And uh, subscribe to us all over the place. And leave your comments. Right on the video, audio, or at Mayhem Show on the Twitter. We'll see you next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.